Alright, we're gonna step out because we're gonna get copyright. But we just got to Alphaland. We're in gym two. Uh, we have to deadlift today. It's gonna be another voiceover. I don't know how crazy I'm gonna go. I got a uh, pre workout and uh, pump from Raw shaking up right now. Um, we're gonna take warm ups a little easy. My left glute is a little tight, uh, a little unsure why, but uh, even on warm up, so stretch it out as best we could. Um, I think Jess is doing sumo. I'll be doing conventional. I'm gonna see where I can push it. Um, I'll probably annotate on the screen or probably in the voiceover the numbers I'm supposed to be doing um, and probably what I'll be subbing it for because I don't think deadlifts are gonna move that well. Um, I feel good other than the glute, but um, we'll see how they move honestly. Um, we got a power bar. I'm not using a deadlift bar, so I'm gonna see. It's gonna be above 315. I'm just gonna see how tight I can stay and how much I can engage uh, breaking the floor. But uh, let's get this workout moving. And then uh, I believe later tonight, we are going to be doing barbecue. I didn't hit barbecue the first time we came down to Texas. Um, so we'll be hitting that tonight and I'll let you guys know how good that is. It's definitely fire, but like I'm just big on Mexican food. So let's get this workout moving. Okay. Hello. Um, deadlifts. We deadlifted. That's as good as that gets. Um, so you saw the warm up at 3:15 and moved well, well. Parentheses. Uh, I think we did 3:55. I think right. 3:15, 25, 35, 40, or 45, 3:45, 3:55, 10 and 5 on each side. Do the math. Um, belt was doubles. Um. If I'm being completely honest, I don't even know what the number's called for. It was irrelevant. The training in Texas was above par, so took it and ran with it. But um, lower hamstring day, um, glutes, hammies, some quad, um, Bulgarian splits. I'm really trying to get down. I'm really trying to hammer those in. Um, still on edge if I really want to continue deadlifting. Um, block officially started. Um, everything's moving well. It's just the dilemma I'm having is I'm eating a ton more and my body is already accustomed to kind of moving heavy weight. So I may go back to just squatting twice a week. I may just trash deadlifts completely. Still on edge. Um, cause the way I do my program is just a lower compound, um, on both given days. Um, it's a little untraditional. I don't really explain my programming in depth um, in the videos because I don't want to confuse people, more specifically my clients, because the way I program for myself is very, it's very dynamic. It's very just like rear delt, like um, quad, glute, um, tricep, bicep, uh, chest, upper pec, uh, lower lat, and it'll be labeled legitimately like lower lat four sets of ten so like whatever lat movement i want to do on the given day so like i don't want to confuse people um maybe when i get on a more structured program because everything is up everything is moving um but the training went well given where we were um but as you can tell um, um the body the body language was low um i was just ready to get back home and get seriously training which little foreshadowing we are like moving a lot now that we're back home, whole lot of opportunity, whole lot of new things coming, um, which I may have announced on Instagram already. So if you guys are not following me, go follow me. Um, I'm a, a bit more attentive on Instagram or it's a little bit more real time than YouTube because he's taking a little more time to uh, put into order, edit, so on and so forth. So uh, maybe I'll do a better way of um, setting like that social time point in terms of like maybe not announcing it prematurely on Instagram. Um, and letting it hit YouTube first, but we'll see. Um, but the, yeah, last name, Houston, um, or last like official workout, the workout after this, which was the day after, it wasn't really, uh, just to get blood flowing. Um, it's kind of hard when you're, when we were traveling for a week, that's always telling Jess. Um, cause when you travel for a week, it's like you lose a day going, you lose a day coming. So it's really like a solid three, four days. Um, so I usually, when I go, I go for a week and a half and then at least it's a solid week to said place, which I believe, um, possibly stay tuned. Um, we may be going down to Florida. Um, either to link up in Stewart, um, at the revive gym with Nick or Nick also has a gym in Tampa, MI 40, I think it's called. Um, but we're definitely going down. We're definitely going to get some content. 
Um, don't really like training for people, but honestly, Nick, Nick is a serious athlete. Nick is competed. So honestly, we won't. I don't think we'll be training together, but just so much like being in each other's vicinity and just like pushing each other because we're both on different programmings. He's working with his boy down there. I'm doing my own thing. As long as we're in within each other's vicinities and just training um, and having that mental focus and mental intensity, just subconsciously looking at each other and uh, just uh, pushing the envelope and the intensity that much more. But that's going to wrap Houston up or Houston training up. I'm excited to get back home. I'm excited to see the boys. Um, hopefully we'll see them tonight. <sighs> And we'll get back to vault and start pushing some serious weight. Strips? Oh, I gotta fix the fucking settings on this. Hold up. Yeah. All right, cool. Workout is done. We got a whole bunch of shit from Alpha Elite. This stuff doesn't drop. Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff. This. Honestly, it's it's going to drop by the time this video is out. I don't plan on pushing daily videos out cuz the way the uh the way this shit is going to work is um I'll already be back home by the time these Texas vlogs already come out. So from today is Thursday, these drop Saturday, so the 16th. So they'll already be out um potentially even sold out by the time we get back home or this video drops. Because I want to say this is probably going to be up. This video is probably going to be up next week. Because I'll probably do a video every other day. So it'll be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, <coughs> but uh, yeah. I mean just I was looking at the entire collection. Uh, in the bag. And it's a. Uh, I, f I fuck with the uh, like uh, the resemblance of the, the Beatles. Um, which if a lot of you guys don't know that. The Here Comes the Sun collection. That's where it's from. So the resemblance to that is, is awesome. Because Christian is a. Uh, big on like um guitars and instruments and the whole um and the whole um <sighs> wow yeah into the band the whole uh, musical industry and stuff like that he appreciates it um to like the finer degree of things um that's actually funny because me and jess were talking about that in the car how like music nowadays is just like shit so we are um jess is in the shower right now i'm gonna shower after we are going to hit a barbecue spot I think it's called Pit Inn or the Pit, whatever it's called. Um, this is actually my first time hitting barbecue um, this trip. I think I hit it last trip, but I did more Mexican when I was down here because I'm big on uh, Spanish food because I feel like the variety is crazy. Um, and tomorrow we will, I, I can't decide if I'm going to take Jess to, because I still have, um, I still have some days from Corrupt um, back when I came back in for last October to texas um because the way russ has the system set up is if you pay for a week you get like a week so like you can use it i think within the calendar year so like if i use five days last time i visited i still have two more days um and uh, but we're thinking because i think checkout here is 11 uh so tomorrow is going to be a big run around we're going to have to get up uh, gym and get up and eat and gym at the same time, but we won't be able to come back to the Airbnb. Um, so the reason why we're thinking Alpha Land again is um, just because they have the showers there. Uh, me personally, I don't care. I'll just throw a sweater on and uh, like freshen up in the bathroom just to take the plane right home because I'm gonna shower anyway when we get home. Um, if we were to go to Corrupt, but we'll decide in the morning because um, it'll be like one less day pass we have to pay for. Because I, like I said, I still have um, the. Uh, the week membership there but other than that uh we'll be dropping off the turo tomorrow as well it's just annoying because the gym is 30 minutes we got to come the the turo um i fucked up because i thought the turo was dropped off at the airport the last one i got when i was in texas last time was at the airport but i guess i didn't read the like itinerary and he said it was at a certain spot which it benefited us coming here because the drop the pickup is 10 minutes from here but it's gonna be annoying because we're gonna travel 30 minutes to the gym, which is more downtown in relativeness to where we are. But then we gotta come back up this way, 10 more minutes past the Airbnb. So we gotta drive 30 minutes to the gym, drive 40 minutes back and then pay for an Uber. Again, the time frame is still perfect. There's no rush, um, but it's just a little annoying because there's just that much more like driving here, going there, coming back. Um, so, and 
that's why we would have to freshen up uh, there because it's pretty much right after we're done with the gym, we'll probably eat at Alfie. I've been eating at Alfie's um, every day. Uh, if we had an earlier dinner, just kind of skipped out. She ate there once or twice, but I'm eating like triple her food. So my intake is a lot higher. So I'll eat and then we'll still go out. Um, so we'll just grab food there um, and then probably just snack on the plane and stuff like that because it's only like a three and a half, four hour plane ride. So tomorrow's gonna be a little bit hectic, which is why I recorded today um, and did a little voiceover. Me and Jess did a few things together. So she, uh, we were deadlifting and did the Bulgarians and then she went and did more of like a glute uh, hamstring circuit with abs. And you saw what I was doing. I did more of a, just a bodybuilding approach. So two different styles of training. Um, maybe I'll touch base on that in terms of like you know, like, do we train together and stuff like that? Because I really don't train with anybody. And it's no disrespect. I just, I can't fuck with anybody. Not even fuck with myself. But anyway, um, that will probably wrap it up for the Houston gym vlogs, at least. Um, if I pick up the camera tonight to tell you how barbecue was um, and wrap Houston up from there. And then we will uh, probably pick back up in New York. But let's get ready to go eat. And then we'll close out Houston. Do you? I do. Guys, we left New York with the super video. And we're fucking back. So we're back in New York. I literally just landed in New York. You definitely can't hear me. Um, I just landed back in New York. Uh, Andy called me and uh, was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm literally driving back right now. And they're like, we're going to get... Or, uh, the initial plan was Mount Kisco. But I don't. We're not going there. We're going to, um, I believe, Candlelight. But uh, I'm with Petey. You guys haven't met um, Evie and then uh, Andy. So we got the skyline. Which, if my hand decides to stop twitching, right up front. Oh my God! This camera is unfair at night. So we got Andy in the front. Obviously, we're in the pupra. And then, can we see Evie in the back? Yeah, so we got we almost stole you did stop <laughs> Oh my god, we just stalled. All right, we're going to get food. I'm back in New York And I'm with my bitches <laughs> Get some rollers on the way back. All right, so Andy. Any flames? Huh? You got flames. flames. You got Andy, the toothless fucking five-year-old over here. <laughs> the Pupra. And this is Evie. Evie got this car. What feels like 24 hours ago. Evie, tell me about this. Uh, pretty much is stock. So it's Nissan Altima. Um, yeah. You have the N1 lights. <laughs> we like the N1 lights. So what's done to this? Or what's uh, gonna get done to it? Give me like has um, a Tome exhaust. Um, Tome da. Pretty much everything is stock. I got N1 cool. uh, headlights. Um, yeah, that's it. This car fucks. I like it. I like it. This was one of like the most. I like. Oh, he has the. N1. No, well the clears too. I know, but he's got like. Like good clears. Yeah. Dog shit. 
Son of a bitch. Oh, you know what? Stockies. He's got the stockies too. All right, so we're here at Candlelight. We're fucking hungry. We literally just touched down in New York. Andy called me laughing, asked if I was hungry. I said fucking yes. And um, that's where we're going. I'm going to try to get some rolls on the way back. I'm not bringing this into Candlelight because they're probably drunk off their fucking ass. Uh, you in there. So... You, you should bring that in. All right, we're bringing it in. Yeah, Fuck it. The boys want to bring it in. We're bringing it in. My wallet's in the car. You have what, my wallet's in the car. Should I get it? No. All right. I don't have to get it. So, you. see? Look at that. They pick us up. They give us food. <laughs> and it's fucking... Did you see the cop over there? No. Literally right... The parking lot right before us. For Pete real? was, like, fucking hit <laughs> trying to, like, fucking oh, yeah. swim yeah, up all the roads. Fucking the steel <laughs> oh, my place, God. The manhole, the pop yeah, Central man, Avenue. My man, Evie back there, like... Red lights don't fucking... <laughs> first of all, I want to know who lie. behind you blew it. That's I what I want to know. Because it was red when we passed it. It was definitely red when you passed. And I don't know who the fuck was behind you. But they were just like, I'm not fucking stopping. I was like, shit. This is definitely candlelight parking. Yeah, or this one. All right, let's get inside. And let's see what the fuck's going on. We all got the same thing. What did you get? Dry, dry cum. That's what you got. You got dry cum. Um, I'm gonna fucking eat. That can't be the video. I am toast. Oh my god. Good fucking night. We're back. We're home. I gotta edit. We got rollers. We got photos. We got wings. Thank you guys for checking in. We're back home. We're safe. We're closing out the Houston vlogs. We're back home. We pick up again on Monday, Tuesday. I'm excited to get back to Donovan and get this shit rolling. We have, like, way too much content. Thank you, guys. I'm going to keep them coming. I'm going to keep them pushing. <sighs> Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next one.